Over on GrabCAD, I saw a user was having difficulty importing OBJ files, and that's something that I've done a few times, especially courtesy of NASA. If you go to this website over here, nasa3d.arc.nasa.gov, you can find all these free models that NASA provides. And so I just downloaded one for the extravehicular mobility unit and I'm going to import it into Creo Parametric. And so the user was using Creo Parametric 3.0. Here I am. There are two different ways of bringing an OBJ file into Creo Parametric. One is by just using the open button. I'm going to click open and let's go to the folder where I extracted the OBJ file. You can see that, hey, there's nothing there because by default, Creo Parametric is looking for Creo files, parts, assemblies, drawings, layouts, etc. But I'm going to change this to all files. And here we see one that's recognized by Creo Parametric, the OBJ file. So I will click the import button and you will get the import new model dialog box and i recommend that you check the box to use templates otherwise you might just get a part file with a coordinate system and then the imported geometry i like to make sure that i am using the correct part template and here this is the wrong template i can hit, click the options button and grab one of my other model templates and I'm importing this as a part so I don't care what's listed in here for the assembly and you can leave the rest of the settings in here as they are so I will click OK and here it will offer to generate a log file I don't need that unnecessary file on my disk so I will uncheck the box you can change the file name if you want and now I will click OK and the import process starts. I know that this file is ginormous, so we will put in a small edit here and come back when the file is imported to show you what it looks like. The import has completed. I can see in the message area that roughly 341,000 facets were created. Let's take a look at this. Oops. All right, pretty neat there, huh? A lot of detail in this NASA file. So that is one method of importing an OBJ file. Let's take a look at the second method. So for the second method, I'm going to start off by creating a brand new model. And let's give it a name, EMU NASA. And let me uncheck use default template because I want to make sure that I'm using the correct start part click OK and here I have my part with my default template I'm getting a bunch of combination states and I have my parameters and layers and everything the other way of importing the OBJ file from the model tab click on the get data overflow menu and then use the import command and again we are in our working directory and it's automatically set to all files now I will click import and here we have you know import type automatic we're using the current profile i'm not generating a log file i will click ok all right after we select the file here you can see the dashboard where it lists the file that we are importing and i don't think there's really much to note on the dashboard other than you can choose a different coordinate system than the default for importing uh, options this stuff has to do, I believe, if you are re-importing a file, if the original OBJ file is changing properties, that's where you can change the name of the feature that's being imported. Now I will hit the check mark. And here we have the facet feature. And what you, what's interesting is that when you import the OBJ file, it's a heck of a lot faster than uh, if... You just open up the OBJ file directly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindshield.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.